things. And uh, so there's that. And, and I have an open invitation to my students that if they do want to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom because they have a question or whatever, then all we have to do is come up with a time that that works for both of us and it's um it's usually pretty easy you know can share screens and all of that and and it's uh you know it's it's pretty good um so you know finding the finding the good things going on here and uh um the out in my backyard is a lot better than the view the, the non-view out of my office uh, door <laughs> into the classroom. So I, I do like, I do like that. So, uh, you know, and it's right here, which is good and bad. Yeah, no, those are, yeah, there's good and bad challenges for sure. Uh, what is your, do you teach the summer or what does your fall look like? Yeah, I'm going to teach in the summer, uh, fall, we're supposed to have, I, I don't know what everybody else, uh, th this is actually a good thing to bring up um, if more people were here, but uh, I'm, you know, we normally have fall, fall is when our new cohort typically starts. And last fall, we didn't have enough to start the new cohort. So we waited until the winter and then we had a, a good amount. Um, but, you know, we're, as a school, we're down 23% at Lake Washington, and I don't know what everybody else is, is doing, but um, so that makes me pretty nervous for the fall. Uh, you know, what will enrollment be like and will we be able to start a new group? Um, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has the same concerns or, or what. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, enrollment's down across most institutions right now. Uh, yeah. We were, I think, um, our number this spring, although they attributed it more to do with, um, we switched to CTC Link right during the uh, COVID quarantine start. So our spring was kind of fouled up, but we were 15% down as a college. Um, and where are you at? Lower Columbia College. So down in Longview, Washington. So uh, we were 15% down, I think was the last number I heard from spring to spring. So from last spring, 2019 to this spring. Uh, oh, yeah. So I think we're we're trying to to work towards how we make fall enroll, enrollment uh, get back to to a better number there. Considering who knows how many four years might go online and try to I've been trying to talk to many people I can. Is if your four years going online, there's no point in you know if you're not going to get that full four year experience, you might as well take the class for a lot less money. Um, that's a yeah, that's a really good point to make. Yeah, uh, not that I want to well, hurt, hurt other faculty's jobs at universities, but yeah, well, and 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 I've made the point with uh, with some folks that uh, you know somebody was was making the you know making some noise. Of, well, if we're just going to be online, they're not going to have access to campus and all of our <clears throat> all of our labs and equipment and all that kind of stuff. Well, maybe then I'll just not go to school until you know in the fall or something and you know when things get back to normal maybe yeah. and they said well yeah but right now is really a pretty good time to be going to school compared to trying to look for work um you know the job market right now isn't that great but you could still be going to school and then uh, and then be better prepared when things do return to normal whatever that means uh from you know from a job perspective so um so that's that's the way i've been trying to spin it yeah, no, for sure. Um, that's, yeah, I think, you know, it could go, it could go two ways. And one's could get worse in the fall or could get better. We'll see if, if the uh, enrollment upticks as it normally does with unemployment, but I think this is such a weird, non-typical recession that it'll be different. I think we'll see different situations for sure. Yeah, yeah. This. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I I don't know what what analogy we can use. It's not the same as really anything. You know, there, uh, one could say that there's pent up demand um, from a spending perspective and things like that. But um, but then again, people have lost a lot of their you know buying power, and so how will things pick up? 
um, you know, will everybody be returning to going out to eat in restaurants if they, you know, have been out of work for a while and don't have the money? So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Is your uh, campus going to stay online in the fall or is there going to be options to do hybrid or some on campus things? Yeah, we're planning on being online through Christmas. Gotcha. Yeah. And with the with the caveat that it's easier to it's easier to plan that way rather than to plan the opposite way. Yeah. So so we're we're just we're just planning on being online and 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 being that way and if things change then it's easier to easier to switch. Yeah, it's much easier to, to deal with that. It's a lot harder to uh, be face to face and then have a huge if they if we do get a, a big resurgence peak to have to then go back online and go through the mess we went through um, already. Yeah. No, for sure. Totally agree. I feel really sorry for the faculty whose colleges have said, well, just plan plan to be this, this or this, but they're not giving a definite answer. That would be so hard. I think that yeah. it would be yeah, easier yeah. just to say, let's be online and then default back to face to face. I think, I mean, I think that you've got a better situation than some because that decision has been definitively made. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. And, um, and I'm planning that direction. So I'm, I'm going to be reusing uh, some of the things that, uh, you know, I've been recording demos and things like that. So I'm going to be reusing some of that stuff in my, you know, whether we, it's or not, um, I'm still going to use that stuff, um, you know, reap the rewards of, of that effort. And um, so, yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting. And I did go ahead and start the recording just in case we were having a meeting. I don't know what we're doing just yet since it's just the three of us, but just so you all know, we're, we're recording. Okay, good. Yeah, we, we are, we're talking about good stuff, I suppose. Um, yeah, I thought so. So is, I started about halfway through your first thing where you said, oh, there's still always this, and then you started talking, so. <laughs> oh. It is good to hear. Um, I, I like sitting in on this group uh, because I do like to hear what's going on at other schools, and uh, like Lucas was mentioning, you know, they're down 15%, and um, you know, I, it's shared misery, I guess, is, is comforting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's a unique time for sure. It's a lot of stress. It's every, every problem is a little bigger, I think, in this moment too, even when they shouldn't be. So just everything gets a little exacerbated, which makes, makes it even harder when you're dealing with enrollment and all those things for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, there, there's some campuses that are basically saying, well, we're going to let you decide as a faculty member what you guys feel comfortable with, which I think is even maybe a worse situation so hard. to put your, put your yeah. employee, employees into because as a teacher, you want to do what's best for the student, and but you don't, some people might be in the high risk category and, you know, it's well, com complicated. Yeah, and yeah, and, and something that we were talking about is, you know, a, a little ways back that even if we decided to go face to face, I mean, this was, you know, this was a little while back, you we were talking about this, um, you know, even if we decide, hey, we're open, we're face to face, come back to campus, there could very well be a whole bunch of people who said, who say, hey, I know you're face to face, but mm -hmm. I'm not face to face, I'm not coming in. Right. And so, yeah unless you accommodate me, you don't have me as a student because um, I'm, I'm not willing to be there. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I think that's, that's a, you know, one of many things to think about when it comes to this sort of thing. But uh, um, something else I want to, I might want to mention that might be useful. Um, I was talking with a couple of my, uh, let's see, my, my my uh, part-time professor uh, who teaches with me and my IST, <clears throat> we were talking about, um, we, we had met on Zoom about another topic, but we started talking about uh, um, possibly, we're, we're talking about and exploring 
another method of teaching, and this is new to me, but it's called, apparently it's, it, it exists and there's documentation out there for it and all, all sorts of stuff, but it's called um, HyFlex. And I don't know if you guys have heard of HyFlex, but this is brand new to me. And so we were thinking, okay, um, what would it take from a professor, campus, technology point of view um, that if you have a classroom full of face-to-face -face students, but then you also had a group of students who were not face-to-face, -face, who were online, and that's the way that they were taking the class the whole time. It's not that they were doing it part of the time that way. It's just that I'm going to be a student in your class and I am going to meet online only with you the whole time. And, um, and I thought that was kind of interesting that that might be able to be a way to, um, to accommodate people who are working or um, have, are not comfortable with being on campus or um, anyway, just making it more accessible. Um, obviously, there's that wouldn't work for every class, <clears throat> but um, if you had a class where none of your content required being face to face, then maybe you could pull it off. Um, you know, you could you could have people meet Zoom, uh, via Zoom uh, synchronously and still can a bunch of your um, demos and things like that for everybody anyway, and so. Um, I could see that being a, a pretty successful uh, model. Um, it would take some getting used to for myself, but you know, we can learn one, new things. One thing those HyFlex um, programs offer too is that the student, I don't think has to declare that they're gonna do one or the other. They just come to whatever's most convenient for them that week. So they choose, and if they want to come all face to face every Monday and they want to be online on Wednesdays, or they have a week where they just can't come during class time, they can just do the work online. Um, it's a really interesting combination. Do you know sure. of anybody who's currently doing it? Yes, um, Seattle Central is. You would want to talk to um, Kevin Bauer Sox Johnson. And that last name is hyphenated. And it sounds just, it's spelled just like it sounds, Bauer, B-O-W-E-R, and then um, I think it's S-O-X, Bauer Socks. Oh. Dash Johnson, sorry. So it's not socks like the socks on your feet. <laughs> okay, Bauer yeah. Socks. Johnson, yeah. Johnson. Yeah, I can uh, probably find his email address for you. Okay. It'll. That I think be it'll be at seattlecolleges.edu, I think is how they're, um, stuff's formatted. Okay. I think too, if you, people start, um, teachers look at zooming people into their face-to-face -face classes, like just zooming those who can't come or don't want to come or whatever, for whatever reasons. Um, that's another way. I know I, when I was working on my doctorate in education, the, it was just for satellite campuses for WSU. And so the teacher was in Spokane or wherever the professor was housed for that program. You know, you would still go to the other, your local campus, but you would be zoomed in to their face-to-face -face part, and they still interacted with everybody in Zoom or asked questions, so it took some time to get used to, but it was a uh, another way to, to accommodate or maybe even improve enrollment. Like, hey, you can, if you don't have babysitters and matter, let's take this class, you can zoom in uh, during our, our classroom times, we'll have that capability. You know, it requires a little probably more IT and administrative support you know, a variety of ways to make that happen on campuses, but that's yeah. also another another method to look at too for people uh, this fall or even the winter and spring next year. I mean, who knows how all this stuff's going to change people's comfort levels, people's, you know, just their lives in general. We don't know what it's going to look like for many coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a lot of uncertainty going on going forward here. Okay. Good. No, those are those are good. Um, topics for sure. I'm going to put Kevin's contact information in the chat for you, okay? Okay. Just make sure you have what you need. I don't, I can't remember if they call it 
high flex, but that's exactly what you're describing. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm told that it stands for hybrid flexible. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I just can't remember if that's um, what they ended up calling it. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll reach out to Kevin and see if he has any, um, and, and, and we're, you know, we don't know if we're going to be doing this, but we're talking about it. Um, it sounds promising. So talking to somebody who is already doing it, um, you know, get some advice and, you know, maybe has, maybe has some insight on, you know, hey, watch out for this or, you know, it works this way, but it doesn't work that way or something else. So Yeah, I know he's talked about it at several um, e-learning council meetings. Okay. I'm not seeing it listed on their um, program pages. So maybe they haven't actually started it yet. Hmm. I was pretty sure they were doing it though, but I'm, let me see if I can find any more information on here. I think um, uh, Mike Potter was telling me about it too, that uh, there's resources out there that uh, <laughs> Um, that I should go look at and I haven't done that yet but that's okay. again we're 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 just we're just scratching the surface on talking about it so and and one of the things that I'm I'm a little I gotta I gotta admit that I'm a little leery of is if it's it could be too successful. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, I could end up with, you know, instead of having a maximum amount of, you know, maybe 20 students, I could end up 30 or 40 students, you know, and yeah, that's true. And then, and, and then what does the grading look like and the workload look like? And then if those students then want to continue um, face to face in a classroom, well, none of our classrooms will hold that many people. And so am I, am I creating something that's, um, you know, unsustainable or causes other problems? You know, you just, it would be a good, it would be a good problem to have, I suppose. Yeah. You know, I'm not seeing it on their program pages anywhere, but I know that they have talked about it at several meetings. So um, maybe they just never instituted it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll reach out to Kevin and see what he has to say about that. All right. Do you have anything else to want to chat about today, Andrew? Uh, no, I guess not. That's uh, that's that that what we've talked about so far is already worth the price of admission. <laughs> so uh, that's yeah. good. Cool. So, uh, that's that's I, worth it. I think we'll uh, we're working on specific uh, leadership for a lot of these COPs. And so we're hoping also to get a lot more communication going out to the faculty for reminders and different things so that it's not just Alyssa I and Jen running 14. Mostly 15. Jen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the administrative part anyways. Yeah. Not to take away from your facilitation of every single meeting. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jen, Jen's been doing all the emailing and all the uh, record keeping for sure. So. Uh, in fact, I was trying to just real quickly when we got started find the uh, find the email list, and I just I didn't have, I just didn't have time. I started the conversation because I was going to try to set out a quick reminder. So, oh, Lori uh, already did. Oh, good. So you're okay. good on that. Good. Yeah. But, uh, it, it might be that Wednesday's afternoon just a lot of people teaching too. You never know. Could so. be. Yeah. Yeah. Because the last meetings have been pretty. Uh, pretty successful in terms of numbers. But today was successful in terms of content, so that's good. <laughs> there we go. That's good, that's all that matters. If we help one person or if we get one, each of us gets one thing out of it, it it's purposeful. There we go. But uh, All right, well, thank you, Andrew. I'll stick around, Alyssa, or I guess if you gotta close it out, 
because you're the. I Whatever. Guess maybe, no, yeah. I can leave without. I can leave without. Um, closing, closing in. Okay. Yeah. I I'll stick around in case somebody drops in just so I can let them know and check in with them. Okay. I'm gonna stop the recording though. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Well, thank Thanks. you, everybody. Yeah. I appreciate the information. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Take care. See you in a couple weeks. Bye bye. Sounds good. All right. Bye bye.